we're back right into the action. Maxi Mustangs up one point. Their esports looking to take this one right back, though. They're keeping up the pressure and they're going for an insane push right here, right now. Can they do it? I have no idea if they can, but we shall see soon enough. Soon enough, indeed, we will see. But right now, it's all about that pressure. Massey Mustangs already up one point, but Bear Esports, they don't look too far behind in terms of the momentum side of things. It's still a strong back and forth over here on center field, which always shows the strong signs of a close series. But as we get to the corner, that's where the secrets start to get revealed of who has truly the upper hand. And it seems right now, Massey Mustangs has been doing a great job of keeping Bear Esports out, but not good enough as Bear Esports has been able to just now steal away one goal, tying us up now 1 1. And Bear Esports, of course, hailing from St. Joseph Scholar Hall Catholic Secondary School, whereas Massey Mustangs come from the local Vincent Massey Secondary School. They are doing an amazing job right now. Bear Esports, though, looking to die this one up even further. Once getting a huge kickoff goal, but it gets cleared out by the Massey Mustangs. They're not going to let up off the gas and go for another goal once again, but once again cleared out. It is such an intense game already. You can tell both teams just hammering away at these goals, and that's why we're here in this division. This is the best of the best we're seeing, and you can tell that they are playing at their best. Best indeed. You're coming all the way here. Well, some further than others for sure, but coming here to play on this stage in front of all these people for all of these different prizes and trophies, you better be winning at your best. And I can say for sure that these teams are bringing their A game. In fact, their A plus game. Those report cards for Rocket League are looking to be stellar on the honor roll, in fact, as the ball gets taken over to the corner now. It seems that they're done playing around as they're going to start going for some demos. Bear Esports trying to wrest control back of this game with one minute remaining. They're doing a great job at holding their lead. They just need to stretch it out to create a gap instead. Now, back to the corner on orange side. They are able to clear that one out, but over on the side of Massey Mustangs, they are looking to get a little crafty here, letting Bear Esports take control of that ball from center, but they're doing a good job now of trying to recuperate it and turn that back into a retaliatory clear. This is how you get goals, is by stealing the momentum away from your opponents, and you do that by giving it to them and taking it away at the worst opportunity for them. As, as I'm saying that, their <laughs> esports are able to steal away a goal from themselves, as there is a little bit of a confrontation right in front of their net, they are able to try to clear it out, but eventually, it's way in. And now with 25 seconds left on the clock, it's all up to the Massey Mustangs to try and bring this one back. And they're going to start off with an explosive defense as Barry Sports wants to try and secure an even their point. But now Massey Mustangs is going on the triple attack here. They need to. They got to try and throw everything they have at this net. That's, this is it. There's an opening right there. Drift Candy going to try and get this one, but it's going to be the Bears taking game one. A little bit of a comeback situation. Yeah, in a very impressive situation for sure. Um, the Bears were able to kind of recuperate from, like we said, a deficit there. They had no goals to start, but they turned that not only from you know, getting goals back, but they turned it into a victory nonetheless. Yeah, turning that into a victory, that is just the, the kind of wherewithal you need to make these things happen. That's very important. In any eSport, e you need to try and lock in. When you're down for the count, when things don't seem to be going your way, just need that first goal, and then you can get that momentum going, that ball rolling, and I'm excited to see how they do no. the second game. Sometimes it can feel like rolling a ball up a hill, but eventually when it rolls back down, you just gotta keep rolling it back up. Eventually, you will find your goal. And speaking of goal, we're trying to find one right off the bat. Air Esports, they're doing a good job of trying to keep things on their side of the field in a good sense. And as soon as they're ready to take it over to the enemy side, they are doing so in a well-coordinated fashion. Things like this is what allows them to get the edge out over in that first game. But Matthew Mustangs, 
they have to make sure that they don't let Fair Esports get away with anything too crazy so far. It's allowed, it's what got them that first game, and with shots like that, it could cost them a second. A very good shot coming up. Fair Esports, massive Mustangs now. They are maintaining their pressure and holding a strong stance out front of their field. Now over to center, over to blue in the corner. And can they get that fight one in their favor? Absolutely not. It's going to get cleared out, taken back over to orange side. They have one ready to go for that save, but just a little too late. Does the Bear Esports now taking another goal in this game, too? And an absolutely beautiful air carry goal right there. Just a little bit sure to save, but that's all right. These things happen, but you got to admit that was just an absolutely beautifully orchestrated goal. And now the kickoff happens once again. It's going to go over back to Bear Esports. Once again, they're going to keep putting on the pressure here. The Passy going to try and keep it some pressure of their own. Yeah, that <laughs> carrying on the top of your car, you see that often, but when it's right in front of your net like that, it's like a golf tee just waiting for someone to putt that right into your hole of your goal. But as we see now, nasty Mustangs trying to get control here. Bears Esports almost finds that shot. It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be good though as Nasty Mustangs doing a great job of holding down the fort. Now Bear Esports, three minutes on the clock, one goal in their favor. If anything, they just have to make sure they don't let a goal go their side. As you can see, they're playing the defense now. Nasty Mustangs is looking to get a shot over onto that blue side. But, oh, backing up, almost sent that into the net, almost capitalized, and in fact, it gets found. Massey Mustangs are able to take that opportunity that was presented to them and turn it into a goal, and that's going to be now a tie game once again. Yeah, Drew Kenny getting a very clean goal right there. And now with three minutes left on the clock, it's all even across the board. It's all up in the air to see who will take this game. You see Defensive approach, we can gain control of the ball. They're gonna knock it right down the field. Try and set something up for themselves. It's up in the air, it's teed up, but it's gonna go over to Barry Eastwood to try and get control. Trying to take control is a lot easier said than done. Have you ever driven a car with rocket boosters trying to chase the ball twice your size? I don't think so, Matthias, but these players are doing that and they're doing it and making it look easy all at the same time. The way they are manipulating this ball and trying to make sure that they're maintaining control of their field. They're playing the micro game, they're playing the macro game so excellently. And once again, in those high pressure situations, you gotta be ready to react. And there, of course, Massey Mustangs able to get that save, trying to send them right out of that corner there. And it's gonna get taken right back there. <laughs> After we get a demo, a shot is made. It's not gonna go in, however, but it made a statement more importantly. That's statement is that we want to win. Yeah, they are looking for this win. Everybody's hungry for this win at this point. You want to try and win as many games as you can try and make it through these pools. Now we see the ball going back and forth. Things are dead even across the score and on the field. But it looks like it's going to be Barry Esports making a mad dash for the goal once again, but gets cleared up by Massey. They can re regain control of the ball here, try and get themselves under the They can start to take shots of their own. Now, kind of stand still here. We'll get the first player. It looks like it's going to be Bear. Going to pass it back and forth down the field, putting pressure on Massey's goal. Going for a nice little shot. They get saved out by Massey. But now, it's once again just dribbling back and forth. There's a nice setup, and the dunk from Bear Esports secures himself the second goal. Bear Esports, they're wearing the scoreline well. Two. Two goals looks good on this team, and they are doing a great job at finding it continuously. We're back to the same scoreline as the previous one, two to one right now. Massey Mustangs does not want a repeat of history, but Bears Esports are quite content with uh, to keep it that same way. Now with one minute remaining, it's gonna be all things offense for Massey Mustangs. Of course, they can't fully commit to it too hard because that will just open them up to even lengthening that score gap but you can't be playing to reserve if you want to have a chance of getting any goals here. Nasty Mustangs, they're trying to maintain the control of this ball close to the side of blue, but it's not going to go their way. However, their esports are able to steal it out and turn that 
attempt into a goal for themselves. Oh, what a good play coming out from Bear Esports. Brilliant play from Bear Esports now securing themselves a two-point lead. Massey Mustangs have a very hard gap to close now with only 38 seconds in the counting remaining. They're going to go for the mad dash, though, try and get as many points as they can. It's still going to be a very tough job. 30 seconds left on the clock. The defense from Bear Esports is insurmountable with the demos coming out as well. They're going to have an opportunity to take one more shot on the goal. Their teammates respawn back in, but with 20 seconds left and counting, things are looking very, very Ooh. dire, but they get the last second goal, okay. and if they can get something here, might have an overtime. We might have a game on our heads here. Three to two with 17 seconds remaining. That one goal is all it takes really to make you feel like you got a chance. And as long as you feel like you have a chance, you do have a chance. Looking, uh, you know, 30 seconds down three to one is a lot scarier than looking down the clock with 17, three to two. So Massey Mustangs, they play their cards right. They can't tie this up, turn this to an overtime, but a lot of wind is blowing on this table and their cards are starting to fly away a little bit. It's all gonna come down to this one. It does not find that goal off of that shot and the ball is going to hit the floor which means that's going to be the end of the game their esports takes game two and it was pretty close near the end of it Bear Esports just seems to be able to find these comeback angles every single time. Yeah. It looks like they're down and out. They have such a big gap to close, but they manage to do it every single time. And I'm just very thoroughly impressed by Bear Esports. Yeah, it's not impossible. We could see a game or a 3-0 for the first time on the stream right now. Bear Esports, if they keep maintaining this pressure. But of course, I'm sure Massey Mustangs didn't come all this way for nothing. They want to show us what they're capable of. And I think they're doing a great job of it so far. You know, I think the way they're playing, they have a lot of spirit. They have a lot of fight. They just have to channel it correctly and put all of that energy, all of the effort to a little bit more of a coordinated package. And I think you can see some of that coming out right now as right off of the kickoff, Massey Mustangs comes out swinging, come out fucking Broncos and turn that into 1-0 over Bears East. Yeah, beautiful kickoff goal off the crossbar there, the double dunk in there. Beautiful plays from Massey. They're looking to take this third game in their hands. But so far, Mary Sports seems to answer every single time, whether it's now or later in the game. They're still putting up that pressure. Massey just trying to get control of the ball. They're finally breaking out some demos now. Getting frustrated here. They want to try and open up this goal as much as they possibly can. That might have actually been everything. It's a small gesture, but it took away so much control of the ball from the player that was trying to send that towards the center. Uh, now, as they take things up the ceiling, it appears that Bears Esports is trying to set themselves up from a goal. A shot's taken. Defense is going to slightly miss it, but the shot wasn't going on course anyway. So read the sigh of relief, but not for too long as now Massey Mustang is turning their offense back up to 100% here. Massey Mustangs taking another shot, but it's gonna get saved out. Corner, it's gonna escape just barely, but as it escapes towards the center, Massey Mustangs takes that and turns it into a goal. I might have spoken a little too soon here. It looks like Massey Mustangs does not want to go down three games in this year. Yeah, I don't think we're going to quite see the 3-0 just yet. But there's always room if there's any team to do it to make the comeback angle. It's very esports. I mean, look at that already putting up so much pressure on the Massey Mustangs. I have to try and find a little bit of a better angle, though. Get the demo, trying to open things up for themselves with Massey is not letting up on the aggression. They seem to think the best defense is a good offense, and they're proving that moniker to be true so far. As you can tell, they're just going all in. But it looks like through that committal, Barry Switch finds an opening, putting up the pressure on the Massey Mustangs, but they're still in front of control of the ball. They see an opening going for the pass back and forth off the top. Can they get the save? And they do, they get the clear as well. Now, it's going back and forth off the right side of the field. We're going to see 
pass, go in there, go in for the pass, try and catch it in the corner there, stay in control of the ball. But right now, Barry Esports is finding some amazing shots here, gearing it up towards Mass's side of the field. Right now, it's all up there once again. It's going to send back and forth, back and forth. This is such a top game for both teams here. Barry Esports makes the first one. They want to get the first 3 0 of the series, but right now, Mass and Mustangs is just in complete control of the game right now. Complete control. It definitely could be the case. It could also be an illusion. As we mentioned before, a great strategy for your offense is to give offensive control over to your opponents, just steal the ball away, and as they're trying to maintain pressure, they're not very focused on defense, and you can turn that into a goal, just like we see here from Massey Mustangs. Bear Esports is trying to get their offense started over here. As you can see, uh, they were caught off guard, and that allowed Massey Mustangs to get the goal as Bear Esports retreated to try to get a save. If you just allow your opponents to kind of play into your hands, you can get a lot done as the demo, mutual demo in fact, is going to get the kickoff started. They're going to pop back in as the ball is taken over to Orange side, and now Massey Mustangs still maintain the pressure. They have to do a good job of controlling the space, and they're doing it right now. Their esports, they're stuck on their side of the field. Not a lot of opportunity to escape or recuperate, but it's not impossible. We still have about a minute and a half now as we're getting closer to the end of this game for Bears Esports to turn something out of this three gap squad. Wow. But maybe now it's going to be <laughs> even slightly harder as it's a four gap score line. It's going to be pretty difficult for Bears Esports to recover from this one. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough job for Bear Esports if they want to try and even this one out. As Massey securing that four goal view with only a minute 30 left, it's going to be such a hard job to close that gap. At this point, Massey Mustangs is just looking for even more goals. I mean, look at that. Already with the aggression, they're going to get the five. Oh. We could even see our first mercy rule coming to an effect here. 5-0 right now, a minute and a half remaining. Bears Esports is now on the back foot. I think Massey Mustangs in just this game alone have scored more than all the goals that have been scored in this entire series. If only they're able to spread out these scores a little bit more <laughs> among the earlier games. They might have been able to steal a game or two from before, but now, if anything, they're at least putting on a great show of force that they are not to be messed with. And once again, same as we saw in the first series of the day, you know, you might have lost this series, but you showed that you are able to adapt and overcome your opponents eventually if you're given enough time. That alone is a huge thing you can take away from a series that not only gives you confidence, but helps to swing the confidence of your enemy team. Now, they're trying to get a goal in here, but I don't think it's going to get cleared out once again. They're going for a goal of their own, and you're right, the Mercy Rule is within reach. Now, one point away, 6-0 and oh for the Massey Mustangs with 44 seconds remaining. They've come back to life, and they're running full speed ahead. Maybe they were just thirsty, and they finally got a drink of water in between games or something. I'm not sure what it is, but this team is looking like a completely different squad as they are completely dominating this last game here. There's eSports. You know, time is basically up. I'm not even sure if you can score that many times within 30 seconds, but if they were able to pull something like that off, I must say I would be very, very thoroughly impressed. As unlikely as it is, however, this series is most likely coming to an end, but it was definitely a series to remember. Beautiful series indeed. A very close goal, but it gets cleared out. Now with 10 seconds remaining, will Massey Mustangs get the mercy roll, or will there be a goal answered right back? And it looks like oh, sure. Barry Esports can get one point on the board with before the clock runs out. Before the clock runs out, they at least get one. And yeah, honestly, again, like I was saying, even if you end up losing the series, Massey Mustangs with a showing this strong, they are able to kind of recuperate some of the confidence that they may have had shaken um, throughout this series. And again, put on a show of force for the other teams to know that they are not to be trifled.
be trifled with indeed. A beautiful show for the Massey Mustang showing that this could have easily been a completely different series, but Bear Esports did come out on top, ultimately in the end, winning two games. Massey did prove a point with winning that one game though. A point proven is often all you need to come out satisfied. And like I said, I think their point stands strong. No one will disagree that they are a very strong team to contend with. And of course, the Bears won the series, so no one would disagree that they are a strong team to contend with either. But that game is now behind us. Matthias, that was an excellent one and one to remember for sure. But we still have a lot of action underway. I'm curious to know what you thought of that series overall. Oh, a beautiful series overall. Very back and forth. The comeback angles from Bear Esports was just beautiful. Just so exciting to see when they're down in the points. But they still managed to bring it back time after time after time. But... You know, you gotta give it to that last game. I think that one was a favorite of mine. That was just absolutely amazing gameplay from the Massey Mustangs. Just showing that, you know, if they really locked in there, this could have been an entirely different series. For sure, but what matters more is that they're locked in now and their future opponents are going to have a lot to deal with. But like I said, the action is still quite a long day ahead. We still got a lot more coming. And coming up next, we have another Platinum and Below Division game. Game. We're going to have the CTK's Christ the King Secondary Schools of the Reapers <laughs> going against the Dragons, hailing from, pardon my French, Ecole Secondaire Catholique Saint Marie Riviere. Uh, so it's going to be another match coming up. And before we throw it to a quick break, any last thoughts from that last game with us? Ah, uh, no, my thoughts are sealed. That was a beautiful game. I'm just thinking about the next one at this For point. Sure. I'm excited to see it. We'll see you soon.